Wildfire danger continuing as we head into the weekend, but the weather be a change in. Let's talk about when storms are back in the forecast in this Thursday edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. Hi there, it's Thursday, 20th of March, 2025. I'm Texas Storm Chasers Baldy and Chief David Reimer. We are expecting a less active day in the wildfire department across Texas, but that does not mean the risk is eliminated by any stretch of the imagination. The wildfire ongoing in San Jacinto County will likely continue to burn, although conditions will be a little more favorable today for containment efforts than yesterday with less wind to deal with, but unfortunately it is also going to be drier than a popcorn fart. So that is why crews continue to work on building containment lines and why uh, some evacuations continue today, and we'll be keeping a close eye on that fire as well as any new ones that get going today. Hopefully that does not mean we have any. All right, here's the high-res rapid refresh model for today, tonight, into Friday. We are expecting a dry weather pattern to continue for today and tomorrow across the state of Texas. We're expecting gustier winds out of the south tomorrow, especially across the western half of the state. But the good news is nothing crazy in terms of, um, you know, wind, humidity, dust storms. Winds out of the north today across the eastern half of the state especially, with a focus on the San Jacinto County fire, will become weak tonight and be turned back to the south tomorrow. So hopefully that means any sort of uh, fire line on the southern flank of the fire will be pushed back into the black. Here's the forecast wildfire danger over the next few days from the Texas A&M Forest Service. You can see today we're expecting high to locally very high fire danger, western third of the state and the southeastern half of the state. Uh, still quite noticeable, but lower than it was yesterday, which was very high to extreme across a good chunk of the state. Tomorrow we're going to see fire danger increase across the center t column of the state, I guess, along Interstate 35, Texoma, North Texas, down through the Hill Country, Central Texas, the Concho Valley, all the way down into parts of Southeast Texas, the Coastal Plains, South Texas, the Rio Grande Plains, the Rio Grande Valley. And then on Saturday, we're going to see fire danger moderate across the eastern half of the state, while focus becomes across the western half of the state for very high to extreme wildfire danger. Here's a long-range American weather model the global forecast system. We're going to start to see a bit of an uptick in precipitation, or not precipitation, moisture values going into Saturday, but overall a beautiful day across the state. Cloud cover will increase on Sunday. We're going to see a cool front move south and that front is going to result in the possibility of scattered showers and thunderstorms across parts of North Texas, East Texas, Southeast Texas, the Brazos Valley, the Golden Triangle, maybe down to the coastal bend. This specific model doesn't show that particularly well, but other models like the European do. So again, we do expect scattered showers and storms across uh, probably the eastern half of the state Sunday into Sunday night. Going into Monday and Tuesday, we'll see calmer weather before Wednesday we begin to see a change. So we go into Wednesday, we're going to see cloud cover increase and with it the possibility of showers and thunderstorms returning to the state of Texas, the southeastern half of the state at least, and that will continue into Thursday, hopefully bringing an end to our extended period of dry weather as we switch into something a little more spring-like and precipitous. So we just got to make it to Wednesday of next week for the southeastern half of the state. But on Sunday, again, the possibility of scattered showers and thunderstorms, some of them could be severe as a cold front moves south with the threat of large hail and localized damaging winds. The Storm Prediction Center highlighting parts of the Arklatex, North Texas, Central Texas, the Brazos Valley, East Texas, Southeast Texas, the Golden Triangle for that chance of a few severe storms. Again, this does not look like a big tornado setup for Texas right now. We're going to have pretty weak low-level wind shear. Cloud bases are going to be on the high side, both of which tend to 
result in a lower threat of tornadoes. It's not to say the risk is zero. It's never wise to say that, but it definitely looks more like a hail and damaging wind threat versus a big time tornado day at this point. But of course, things could change. We'll keep an eye on it. But you know what? We need rain. So if we have to deal with a bit of frozen ice in the process, bring it. We need rain. Here's forecast rain totals over the next several days. This is through Monday. You can see with that cold front shifting southeast, the potential for maybe a tenth to up to locally one half inch of rain. East Texas, Central Texas, Southeast Texas, the Golden Triangle, the Brazos Valley. With the rest of the state of Texas not expecting any precipitation through at least Tuesday of next week. We'll see rain chances increase the southeastern half of the state going into Wednesday and Thursday of next week. We'll keep an eye out west as well, uh, just in case the dry line tries to start popping off in parts of the panhandle of West Texas. But again, as we get into April, things will probably start to become a little more active, as they typically do. Today's high temperature forecast, cooler thanks to that cool front that has brought northerly winds, but also has resulted in that wildfire issue in San Jacinto County. Highs today mostly in the 60s and 70s, so definitely considerably less hot than the last week as a whole. Tomorrow, well, spring returns. We're mostly back in the 70s and 80s across Texas with 60s holding tough in the panhandle. Going into Saturday, the 90s are back. Parts of the Permian Basin, the Big Country, the Concho Valley, down to the Rio Grande Plains, Deep South Texas, 80s and 70s for the rest of the state. Going into Sunday, you can see our next cool front starting to push southeast. That's going to bring cooler weather to the northwestern half of the state, but, I mean, cooler weather in late March is, well, for all intent and purposes, still highs in the 50s and 60s. Uh, southeastern half of the state back into the Trans-Pecos, the borderland, we're still going to be in the 70s, but mostly 80s and 90s. So we go into Monday, you can see the northern 80% of the state, mostly high temperatures in the 70s. We still have 80s, borderland El Paso, down to the Big Bend, the Rio Grande Plains, South Texas, into the Rio Grande Valley. So not a big cool down, but still, meh at least some weather to talk about. Here is the Climate Prediction Center's precipitation outlook for the final days of March heading into early April. You could see it could be worse. Uh, about an equal chance for either drier than average or above average precipitation across the northern two-thirds of the state with the southern third of the state looking a little wetter or more wet. And then as we take a look at temperatures, yeah, it's going to be warmer than average. Yeah, that, that's the story of the uh, most of March, right? So that's going to be it for your Thursday edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. We'll be keeping a close eye on the fire in San Jacinto County. We'll be keeping an eye out as well for any other incidents that may arise. But the fire danger overall today is lower than yesterday thanks to diminished winds not to say they're going to be gone but well they'll be out of the north maybe up to 20 miles an hour versus the what 45 yesterday so got that going for us and then rain chances return to parts of the state on sunday and then as we head into the second half of next week you can get your local weather forecast interactive weather radar daily texas weather roundups and more in the free texas storm chasers mobile app just search for texas storm chasers where you download apps for your device you can also get the interactive weather radar on our website texasstormchasers.com slash radar we appreciate everybody joining us here on the texas weather center youtube channel this morning today whenever you may be watching five years from now you're watching five years from now here's hoping that well my head is shinier than it is today but hey who knows no one knows what tomorrow is going to bring that's it i'm done we'll be back tomorrow bright and early with your next edition of the texas weather roundup y'all have a great thursday enjoy the nicer weather god bless mm -hmm.